one of the most unique motorsport venues in the entire continent of North America. And for the past three years, the best in monster truck racing have been coming from Wildwood, New Jersey to take part in Thunder on the Beach. Hi everybody, I'm Doc Riley, and welcome to special edition of Wheel Power. As we go monster truck racing on Thunder of the Beach, the best of the business are here to get top honors in this unique motorsport venue. Stay with us, side-by-side -side monster truck racing is coming up next on Wheel Power. Welcome back to Wheel Power from Wildwood, New Jersey in Thunder on the Beach. This event attracts some of the best monster truck racers in the business. Let's take a look now at the lineup of who will be competing here on Thunder in the Beach. From Manahawk in New Jersey, the broker in Jim Lehigh. Rick Dishroon from Maryland in the Backdraft Dive. From Brackville, Pennsylvania, John C. Sokka, Sudden Impact Ford. Out of the Show Me State, Neil Elliott and the Bulldozer. The Wild One himself, Tom Mentz aboard Team Mentz. The three-time Thunder on the Beach winner, Gary Porter in the Grave Digger. Celebrating the 20th anniversary, the Madman Mike Bonners out of Hagerstown, Maryland. And Alan Pizzo from Brentwood, Tennessee, aboard the Predator. A great lineup of trucks at a very unique course here on Thunder on the Beach, a modified escort. We'll go through time trials and see how they match up qualifying, taking the top six trucks. This gives these drivers an opportunity to feel the course out and also to turn in a quick time to find out who the number one qualifier will be. John Seesock brings out the sudden impact board, a 2001 F Super Duty body, 572 cubic inches of board for power. John Seesock riding high and proud on those Firestone tires. Lining up uh, next to him will be the bulldozer out of the Show Me State. Neil Elliott has the ride here in the dozer. 496 cubic inches of Chevrolet for power in the bulldozer, that 3 d body vehicle there. A very unique course here. It'll test the driver's ability and the truck's agility as they've got some very tight corners at both ends to try to negotiate here on the beach. Very important on the start right here, you don't want to buzz the tires too hard. If you do that, you're just going to dig a hole. You're not going to have a good launch. The bulldozer and sudden impact are first pair to come out and qualify here on Thunder on the Beach. Good start for both drivers. Up over the first roller and into no man's land. Then up in the air a little bit. The trucks will have a tendency to nose over. Here's where it gets tough. Into the very tight corners here. Now both lanes match out exactly in distance. It looks like the bulldozer's way out front here. But they'll make that up as he's got the wide corner on the back end. Elliott throws the bulldozer around. Look at Seesaw go to work there in sudden impact. They're trying to become the number one qualifier here and turning the quick time past Seesaw's time of 30.19. And for Neil Elliott, the bulldozer, his time of 31.09. So your quick qualifier of 30.19, John Seesaw in the sudden impact. This guy is a go getter. He's on a mission. Tom Mentz aboard Team Mentz ride right here in this modernistic look at SUV, of course, out of Paxton, Illinois. Keith Black, Chevrolet engine for power. And the three-time winner here at Thunder on the Beach, Gary Porter in the Grave Digger. Of course, that Grave Digger ride, that 1950 Chevrolet panel van, King of the Beach three straight years. And Gary Porter hopes to make it a sweep and add that magical number four to his credit. Both of these guys hate to lose, but right now it's just a qualifying session to see who will become the number one qualifier here in Wildwood, New Jersey. Both drivers with a good start. Look at Team Mintz go to work there and a problem with Gravedigger. They've had ignition problems here during the weekend and he is just stuck, stranded on the beach. And look at Team Mintz go to work there. Tommy throws that good looking ride into a big almost sprint car like wheel spin around the corner and he's charging hard looking to be that number one guy whenever he puts the helmet on he just loses everything and goes one speed and that is wide open 
Team Mets, all four tires off the ground right there. Team Mets, a time, 29-22. Your number one qualifier so far here at Thunder on the Beach in Wildwood, New Jersey. He is on a mission, and the Grave Digger ride stranded on the beach right there. No time, a DQ. They're going to see if they can sort out that ignition problem. Alan Pizzo brings in the Predator out of Brentwood, Tennessee, and Pizzo, a longtime monster truck racer, moved from Michigan down to Tennessee so he'd make his commutes better to work. He works about 50 weekends a year, and with all the snow and things up in uh, Michigan, moved south a little bit to make travel a little bit easier. This guy talking to travel not too far away from home. From right down the road in Del Mar, Maryland, 572 cubic inches of key flak heavy for power, a 2001 Dodge Ram. Rick Disharoon's the backdraft. This truck, very popular with firefighters, does a lot of uh, child safety things with kids at schools right here, teaches them about fire safety and fire prevention. The Predator, one of the top selling monster truck toys in the history of this sport, and that says a lot going back some 27 years. You see the big menacing eyes there on the Predator as they get set for their qualifying pass. Again, the time to be 29 22. Team Benz has put that one in the book as Tom figured out the way to get around this course very, very quickly. Off of it right now. The old backdraft launching very good. This Dodge truck, a straight ahead monster truck, throws it into the corner. Out of the picture there, gets it right back in. Look at the tight turn that the Predator has, making it look easy over the roller. Then on the big tabletop, these guys looking to put in a good qualifying time. Slowing down a little bit. You can see kicking up some dust, a little, little water there before we get racing. And these guys are side by side. It's a drag race down the back stretch. Great qualifying pass for both competitors there. Alan Pizzo with the 3106, and for the backdraft, and Rick Disharoon, a good qualifying effort there, a 3109. Your number one qualifier, Team Mintz, comments with a 29-22 to the thrill of the crowd. Well, whenever you come to Wildwood, you can expect some great things happening there, and they brought it back once again. That flame snorting car ripping Megasaurus thrills the crowd as he puts on a great destruction and destroy show here on Thunder on the Beach. Megasaurus, one of those famous transformers that thr thrills kids here in Wildwood, New Jersey, right off the Atlantic Ocean. The remnants of Megasaura laying right there on the ground on the beach. Well, the first round of monster truck racing after our pairings comes right up very, very quickly. Here you'll see some good, good side-by-side -side racing actually coming your way. The number one qualifier, Tom Mintz, rolls up to the line right here, and this guy is wide open. He cares about one thing, that is that his truck is never beaten it. He would love to be able to knock off the grave digger and put this truck into the number one position. Gary Porter, they've been chasing some bugs right here, and it's not inside the truck. The gremlin right there is an electric electronic ignition problem. They've had some problems keeping that spark alive right here, and he and the Gravedigger team hope to have that cured here as we get into round number one. The winner will move on. It will take the fast loser to come back to fill up our bracket in the semifinal round. Six trucks ready to tangle on the beach, and this is a good one here. Tom Mintz in the far lane, the near lane, Gary Porter and Gravedigger. Both trucks with near identical reaction times and a good lead right here, but look at Tom Mintz go to work as he throws that truck over the first jump and into that very quick corner. Gary Porter with a good turnaround there. Porter gets the little advantage. Again, both of these lanes are marked exactly the same distance. Porter making it look easy there as he slides the truck around, but never count out Tom Mintz as he slides it around again. The old pirate flag a wave right there. Grave digger, a one round number one winner here on Thunder. Gary Porter will move into the next round. Our other matchup here takes on Rick Disharoon in the back draft Dodge. This truck again, regular looking, no funny stuff here. A straight ahead monster truck with 
lots and lots of power. The disadvantage that Disharoon may have is the wheelbase and not having that tight turning radius that the rest of these trucks have. Alan Pizzo, this truck has uh, lots of racing experience. Pizzo has raced all over the United States from small arenas all the way up to the big ones. But this is a very unique spot right here for Alan Pizzo, racing on the beach here right on the Atlantic Ocean as he brings out the Predator. The backdraft taken on the Predator. They'll find out who will meet the digger in the next round. Again, these trucks weigh 9,500 pounds, running on racing alcohol as they line up and stage right here. And you can't always overpower the track on the launch. You've got to find that right little spot somewhere in that throttle control to be able to launch you off that line and not dig a big old hole here in the sand. advantage there as he leaves. Both drivers are thumbs up. Disharoon, lots of air right there, and he is on a mission. The backdraft ride around the corner. Look at Pizzo. Dances it around very, very lightly. Pizzo over the first roller right now, onto the big tabletop. It's very forgiving. A lot of room for those drivers to ne negotiate there. Into the corner right here. Disharoon looks like he's picked up the advantage. Pizzo on the backside with a whole lot of horsepower. Look at Pizzo come close to the gap on the backstretch. Pizzo may get him at the very end. A very tight race there between Backdraft and Pizzo. And the Predator is your winner. The Predator moving on to the next round. Had to use all the horsepower on the back straight. Well, we've seen some great racing, and this matchup here will provide another good side-by-side. -side. The bulldozer, Neil Elliott, with Chevrolet for power. You notice there the engine in the front of the bulldozer. John Seasock in Sudden Impact, the engine in the rear, the bed of the truck. Now, that uh, is one of those things. All the monster trucks started with engines in the front and moved them to the rear because they wanted that balance, that center of gravity. A lot of guys have found out that if you move it to the front right now, you've got more weight to play with than the rear end. And it's just a battle of kind of the thought. What do you want to do? Do you want the truck to be real horsepower driven, or do you want it to be light and agile? We'll find out which particular setup will play into a driver's favor here as we get set with the bulldozer up against Sudden Impact. It's Neil Elliott and the dozer. The Sudden Impact has got John Seesock on board. Elliott with a good leave and a great hole shot right there. Seesock's got to make up some big distance. The dozer backing around the corner and Seesock with problems. Trying to make it. Digging up some extra ground. The dozer right now. Way out in front over the tabletop. Seesock trying to make up the distance right there. And boy, it looks like a whole lot of beach between there. But look at Seesock come back. And now we go on to the back straightaway right there. It is just about a one truck advantage. Seesock trying to make up the distance. He's not going to catch the bulldozer. And Mr. Elliott will move on to the next round there. Your winner, the Bulldozer and Neil Elliott moving on to the semifinal round. Again, that fast loser so very, very important. Here's the matchup. Gravedigger takes on Predator. And Tom Mintz and Team Mintz taking on the Bulldozer. So Team Mintz comes back as your fast loser. Welcome back to Thunder on the Beach. The fast loser, Tom Mance, is in there. Gravedigger Predator, Team Mance, and the Bulldozer. That's how they'll line up here for our next round of monster truck racing at Thunder on the Beach. Gary Porter rolling it out right now. He's had some problems here this weekend, but it's got them all corrected, and he hopes to be able to move back into the semifinals of the finals and make it four straight here at Wildwood, New Jersey. Gravedigger truck takes on... The Predator, Alan Pizzo. Pizzo, this truck does not look at all fast. It's very deceptive. I don't know if it's the 3D body that makes it or just the fact that Pizzo is such a good driver that he can find all those little shortcuts and be able to figure out exactly that hydraulic rear steering. All these monster trucks have got hydraulic rear steering on the very back. That way they can corner a lot sharper. So this truck here really is going to tell us who is the best driver among the six. It takes all the horsepower out of the equation and this is a real driver's track. A good lead by both drivers, and Gravedigger with a little advantage. Porter throws that truck into the corner. Pizzo with problems. 
the grave digger right now. Bend over the little roller onto the big tabletop as he gets set to go on to the back stretch. Slides the truck around. And now he'll put on a little horsepower display here as he's just all by himself. Gary Porter and the grave digger will move on to the next round. Alan Pizzo with problems there, just stranded on the beach. But the Predator will be able to come back and play yet another day. Tom Mintz coming up next. This guy, the fast loser right now, and he is going to be putting it all on the line. Very aggressive here. You'll also notice that his engine sits at the very front of this vehicle, and the weight balance here a little bit different. You'll notice the bulldozer, the other truck in the field with the weight in front of the driver. Very unusual, the monster truck setup. But these guys have gone back to what worked for them 10, 15 years ago, but with a lot of twists. These trucks weigh 9,500 pounds. Back in the good old days of monster truck racing, it's tough to find a truck underneath 10,500 pounds. Lightweight, state-of-the-art rides coming to the line right now. The bulldozer with Neil Elliott up against Tom Mentz of the Team Mentz entry out of Paxton, Illinois. Both drivers right on it. Boy, look at them in tandem right there. And this may separate the men for the boys on the corner. The bulldozer, nice and easy around the corner. Tom Mintz does it. Now, again, they'll pick up his advantage on the backside. But look at the wild man right now. Open up and throw it very aggressive. Tom Mintz brings the old Team Mintz entry right into it, making it look easy and pulls out to a three-truck lead on the backstretch right there. Your winner, Team Mintz, the wild man, Tom Mintz. Your winner moves on to the next round. He is on a mission, wants to spoil Grave Diggers party here this weekend in Wildwood, New Jersey. Well, of course, there's always thrill and excitement. Team New Jersey taking on Team New York in our quad racing right here. Team New York in the black jerseys with P.J. Hall, Mike Stead, Eddie Reiser, and Frank Anastasio. And Team New Jersey with Chris Butter, Jesse Rosner, Bill Gaddis, and Bill McCracken. Team New Jersey in the yellow, the orange jerseys. Team New York in the black shirts. What a great angle this is. You can see the bar to bar action as they roll back over these dunes right here, kicking up a little sand and digging it big time. Team New York out with a very basic lead right now as they go over the doubles. That's Pat Hall right there, PJ Hall rather, in the number one ride as he makes the corner. But take a look at this. Chris Butter right now coming to the inside and cuts him off to take the lead. Chris Butters right there, outclassing the entire field as he made the corner. Some of the guys racing at the very back. The checkered flag is going to come up for Chris Butter, the team captain for Team New Jersey. And he picks up the win here as they go side by side, quad racing. Chris Butter, your winner. Final round of Thunder on the Beach, monster truck wise, finds the grave digger up against Team Mance. Tom Mance up against Gary Porter. These two guys have squared off, I don't know how many hundreds of times in their career, and it's just about evenly split. Gary Porter has got uh, a little bit of incentive here. He will be, if he wins this matchup, the four time winner, the four time king of the beach. The New Jersey Hot Rod Association puts on these truck shows right here. The Atlantic Ocean off in the distance. Tom Mintz, he does not care. He does not care about three or four time winners. All he cares about is winning today and being number one so that people will remember him and they forget about the Grave Digger ride. That's his most important mission. You can call it cocky if you want to, but show me a racer that isn't cocky when they strap on that helmet and go at it. A slight advantage right now to the wild one. Tom Mintz right there as he throws that body into the corner right there and look at Gary Porter gets a little bit sideways right there over the first roller now back over the next hill and Tom Mintz with problems negotiating the back half of the course will he be able to catch it back up yes he does slides into the corner right now they're side by side and down the stretch they come on the back stretch from the half a truck lane lead Gary Porter and Gravedigger Porter picks up the win, and he's the four-time king of the beach. We'll talk to him next, right here on Wheel Power. Welcome back to Wildwood. Let's talk to the four-time king of the beach, Gary Porter. 
Tell you what, it's been tough out here this weekend. Uh, you know, Team Mint's out here gunning after us. You know, I've been having little small problems with the truck all weekend. The starter, these uh, remote ignition interrupter systems. You know, broke a rear drive shaft there in, uh, you know, the first round. The truck cut off in qualifying. So we've been fighting, and, uh, you know, we've just been keeping our heads held high, and we'll take one round by the, at a time. And, you know, luckily, you know, was able to pull this one off. Hey, thanks. You know, a lot of great fans here. We always look forward to coming back. And uh, that final round there with Tom, you know, I sort of had brain fade. I forgot to shift the high gear until I hit that last jump over there, and I was like, I better do something here. He's catching on me. So, uh, you know, luckily we were able to pull it off again.